Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 23rd, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over here at Etero where you can follow our trades and even copy our trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin, and as you can see, we are trading way below the 50 moving average. We are probably going to see the crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average in the next uh, probably tomorrow or Monday um, or even in the weekends as this is trading as well in the weekends but the technical indicators for, for for Bitcoin are looking fairly uh, dire at this current stage it actually hasn't looked at this uh, bearish since basically we started this massive rally back in October or November so we haven't uh, haven't traded underneath the 50 moving average basically in all of these breakdowns so we got towards the 50 rallied towards the 50 yet again and here and it looks like we are basically rounding off and going to head lower so we have 50,000 here that's going to offer quite a lot of support but if that breaks then we could head all the way down to the uh, 200 moving average i think if you look at for example the weekly chart in uh, for for bitcoin this should be a massive warning for this cryptocurrency. Uh, it doesn't mean like it doesn't mean that we're going to completely collapse or lose half of its value, but it could drop all the way down to the middle of the bullish band. So that is at forty uh, well, forty three thousand seven hundred and forty four at this current stage. So this is looking very dire for the weekly chart and a crossing here of the uh, MACD, which. Uh, Basically, the last time it crossed was back here in November when this rally basically started. And now we have a bearish crossing, and that could be an indication that we are basically going to see this drop uh, lower in the long run. So let's look at Ethereum. So it doesn't mean that all of these cryptocurrencies are, are breaking down. It also looks like that the people are trying to find the next cryptocurrency that will basically just, well, give them uh, 10, 5, 10, 20 eggs and so on. And that is really hard to get from uh, Bitcoin at this, at this stage. You can get uh, several percentages, but you'll not get uh, 10, 20 eggs from Bitcoin anytime soon. So if you look at Ethereum, we got to where's the, towards the very high zero 20, uh, 2600 and, uh, a, an eight and then broke down. And at the moment we're trading at uh, 2473. Technical indicators are very bullish for Ethereum. So um, at this current stage, we could see a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band before in continuing higher towards uh, 3000. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano has uh, technically been breaking down the last week and a half and we're trading just at the 50 moving average at 1.19 so this should be the competition to Ethereum, but um, uh, there is more focus on Ethereum at this current stage than there is uh, in it and then there is in cardano so cardano has basically been trading sideways for a really long time now you can basically make a square here and that is basically the area that this cryptocurrency has been trading in Technical indicators are very bearish, so we could see this drop even further towards uh, probably the very lows of this um, square, and that's towards one dollar. A break above the uh, twenty exponential that opens the door back towards uh, one point five. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin has rallied today and then gave most of those gains back. So um, it is just a continuation of uh, of the same thing here. So 20 exponential is holding and um, this could break down towards the 50 and the 50 has been massive support in the past. 20, 50, 20, 50 and so on is basically areas where people have uh, started buying this. And so you can see that people are started buying it here. If this breaks down towards the 50, there'll probably be even more buyers down at that level. Technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. Uh, MACD is bearish, the C Stochastic is bearish, CCI is bullish and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So breakdown from here massive support at uh, 50 at 216 and rallies from here will most likely find major resistance above uh, 300 so let's look at neo 
So NEO has finally started to break down. We're trading at uh, $96 uh, dollars at this current stage. Technical indicators are all turning around towards the downside. MACD is most likely going to cross sometimes uh, in the weekend or probably on Monday. And that probably means that we'll break down all the way down towards the middle of bullish band. That's at $74 dollars. So we, if we go to the weekly, we can see that we were kind of trying to target the previous highs here, the old damn highs back in 2018. Nearly got there, but then broke down. And um, this is a really, really strange looking uh, candlestick, uh, which I uh, have to say is very bearish indeed. So we could see this absolutely collapse towards 50. That is a possibility at this current stage, considering that the second indication in the weekly chart are actually turning around. And this is a very bearish candlestick indeed. So let's look at the dash. So as you can see, very similar here. We had this rally broke down towards the 20 exponential and the same thing is is occurring here the 20 exponential has been holding and the 50 has also been holding and the very bottom of the bullish band has been holding so there's no massive warning sign that we are going to completely collapse here we'll probably see some stagnation as we did right in this area before continuing higher people are enthusiastic for these um, cryptocurrencies and as long as that is the case uh, they will most likely just continue rallying Bitcoin probably is another story as uh, there seems to be more enthusiasm for, uh, for example, uh, for Dogecoin and other minor cryptocurrencies that are now becoming big due to the popularity of them. But uh, if you look at technical indicators, they are looking terrible for Dash. All technical indicators are basically um, pointing to uh, bearish momentum. So if the 20 exponential moving average breaks, then we, that could open the door to the 50 down here at 244. So let's look at the Tron. So as you can see, we have broken the 20 exponential uh, here in, in Tron, and now it looks like we're heading towards the middle of the, uh, the bottom of the bullish band, uh, or at 0 0.1. And if that basically breaks, then we'll have the 50 moving average down here. You can look at, for example, the Fibonacci retracements for this cryptocurrency. And as you can see, we have broken the first uh, uh, 38.2. We'll head towards the 50 down here at 0 0.106. Uh, 6. And then we'll have the 61.8 right here, just above the 50 moving average. So the 50 will travel this way. And they will both, and both of these will offer, offer massive support. Technical indicators are all turning around and are very bearish at this current stage. But there is a lot of support down within this area here. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over here on Etero. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.